What's really fun is when you create parades, it all starts with the idea and the story, and this whole idea that Tinkerbell has taken all the magic and has painted the night with lights. I just reviewed Slinky, and Slinky is just incredible. And the really great thing that Steve and Sarah have done is work with the visual hierarchy uh, in the parade. So it doesn't matter where you're standing on the parade route, whether you're four feet six or six feet two, you will see just about all of this parade unfold in front of you. When we started to create Paint the Night, we looked back to the original electrical parade that started at Disneyland for inspiration. It really was such a wonderful design, it was charming, and the use of lights was spectacular. I mean, it really revolutionized the way night parades were created. So when we went back, we looked at it, we said, how was it created? And then we used all that influence in this parade, but we just brought it up to today in wild new ways. warehouse where we're fabricating our Disney Paint the Night frozen float. This float will be our tallest float in the parade. It's approximately 30 feet tall and 30 feet long. The most challenging part is the lift. To get to 30 feet tall, the float needs to collapse to fit in our warehouse. Our floats are about 99% LED. So in addition to the mile of cable and the mile of LED ribbon product, we have over 3,000 jewels that highlight the trees. The chandelier that comes down the center, we have 72 ice shards as part of that, all hand cut. All the ice you'll see came from 85 sheets of acrylic that all had to be special ordered. The windows have Olaf and Elsa and Anna from their childhood. All that was hand done, all hand etched, all unique, never seen before. So that's been pretty nice to work on. We have 56 snowflakes. Like a snowflake, everyone is different. It's big. It's not just it's an electrical parade. It's big. These things are massively impressive, in addition to the fact that they light up and sing and dance. So